this video, I'm going to give you a high intensity interval training circuit, which is going to do two things in your body. First is you're going to lose your stubborn fat and weight. And secondly, you're going to get abs and that too, heavenly abs. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another video at Movement Mechanics. And this workout is done by Chris Bumshed. This is the workout that makes Chris Bumshed who he is. So let's head deep inside this topic and understand some movement mechanics. Now bodybuilders do lots of cardio training. They do lots of high intensity interval training. But if you merge both of these things, like cardio training and abs training, you are going to get a full on, full throttle circuit, which is going to give you six pack abs. The reason why bodybuilders do cardio training or HRT training is they want to loosen up their body. They want to increase their hydrogen carrying capacity. They want to flush their lactic acid, which is going to cause fatigue in their training sessions. And if you're going to merge it, as I've said, you're going to get heavenly abs. The first exercise to gain your six pack abs and to lose that fat is mountain climbers. Now the mountain climbers is going to target your belly fat area, your low abs, and it is going to spread your fat and also give that low abs some amount of strength. So if you want to do the mountain climbers, there are two ways. You, either you can do it in an extremely fast manner or you can do it in a very slow manner. If you're going to do it slow manner, you are going to gain more and more ab strength. And if you're going to do it in a fast manner, you're going to do it from a HIT perspective. So you need to see what is your goal and that is how you're going to do this workout. It is completely individualistic in nature, whether you want to go at a very fast pace or whether you want to go at a slow pace targeting your lower abs. But here we are not only going to target your lower abs, but also your obliques because we are not going to do the traditional mountain climbers, but we are going to do the crisscross mountain climbers. Now the benefit of the crisscross mountain climbers is it engages your obliques, it engages your lower abs and also it engages your love handles. Now the love handles are one of the most stubborn areas to loosen up fat and of course it is very difficult to lose your love handle. At the end of your abs structure you are going to lose your love handle so that is how love handles are stubborn. So the crisscross mountain climbers is going to help you in burning your fat at the love handle area at your lower abs and also build your obliques and your lower abs as well. Now this is something which is done by Bamshad himself all the time. Uh, you are going to do the Russian twist. The Russian twist is done by Chris Pumstead most of the times because he gets a lot of benefits in core stabilization and also engaging his oblique, which is one of the most toughest muscles to engage in the core component. So the Russian twist, here again, you've got those two options. Whether you want to do it on a fast pace or a slow pace, it depends upon you. But I personally suggest to it on a slow pace. Uh, so that you are going to engage more and more obliques and also you are going to burn that fat at the same time as well. Even Bumshed also does the same. He is going to do the Russian twist always on slightly slower pace because he wants maximum tension in his obliques so that he can rupture them, he can target them properly. Now this may sound a bit controversial but if you are going to combine your plank to push ups and the burpees you are going to do a hell lot of ab training as well as HIT training and this is something which is done by Bumstead himself. Again, I'm going to give you a lot of exercises which are done by Chris Bumstead himself so that you can get into that massive Olympia shape kind of a guy. So combining your plank to push ups and your burpees is going to burn your fat at the immense level and of course because you're going to do that plank to push up thing, you're going to train your abs, you're going to stabilize it, you're going to make your six pack abs nicely and heavenly abs as always. Now the last exercise is one of the most famous exercises. This exercise is going to teach you how hard it is past a minute. Yes, I'm going to talk about the plank or the plank variation. Now this is something which I personally do and I've seen Bumstead doing it as well. Now I've, I've been following Bumstead from a long, long time and I've seen his workouts and he loves doing his planks at the end of the workout. The reason is if you're going to do a lot of fatiguing work and then you're going to go into your planks, it is going to become extremely vigorous and extremely tiring in order to maintain that posture, in order to engage that core and also you're going to get the maximum benefits out of your plank. Now you're not just going to get the stability but you're going to get those six pack abs and also you're going to burn a hell lot of fat at the end of your workout as well. So you can do all the plank variations over here or you can just select a couple of them 
and do it. So it's completely up to you. I personally love doing all the plank variations and Bumshan himself also loves doing all the plank variations. I've seen him doing the rotational side plank, the side plank, the arm plank, the conventional Ironman plank and whatnot. I also add up a side plank crunch in it because I love doing that exercise. So it's up to you what do you want to do with this last exercise. Do you want two exercises or one exercise or do you want all sorts of plank variations? Alright guys, that was it from my side regarding Chris Bumstead high intensity interval training work and this is the workout which made Chris Bumstead Mr. Olympia. Of course, there are going to be a lot of other workouts which he's going to do but this is one of those components. So if you have loved this video, make sure to like, the share, the subscribe as well as the notification bell icon so that you never miss a video whenever I'm uploading a new one. Also, if you've got any doubts or comments regarding this video or any other video suggestions which you want me to cover in the future, make sure to drop them in the comment section. Till then, see you in the next one and don't forget to hit that notification bell icon and the subscribe button as well.